What's up guys, it's Mike. It's Dan. It's E. Let's talk about animals, dogs in this particular case. Oh. This is a really sad story. It's like the saddest story ever. But um, there is a lot of cases like this where yeah. animals save humans. Oh yeah. Especially pets. Yes. So what happened here? So a mom left, uh, just went out of the house for like a moment. And when she came back, the house was ablaze. Her eight month old daughter is inside and the dog Polo is inside and she couldn't get back in the house. And so to try to get in and the firefighters hadn't arrived. She's basically hysterical. And when the firefighters went in, they found the dog lying on top of the baby and the dog perished, but the baby survived. And still suffering burns. Suffering severe burns. And the, the daughter right now is still kind of fighting for her life in the yeah. hospital. The mom suffered burns, so if the dog had not gave his life or her life to save the baby, the baby would have been dead. It basically protected the baby by lying on top of her. Yeah, pets are not selfish. Like, imagine the pain the pup, the dog would experience burning, right? That's true. On, in the smoke, the smog, the burns. But they're just like, yeah, I'm, I, I can't even imagine, like, because I'm, I'm, I'm a human, so I obviously can't imagine what it's like being a dog, but it's just like the dog, no no second thoughts, just I'm going to protect this baby at all costs. Like, holy cow. Yeah, I mean, look, we, we don't know animals. There's still so, so many things we don't know about animals. Right. We don't know why they do the things they do. Like, there are oftentimes they do these crazy things where, like, um, you know, I did a video uh, about like uh, wild animals that mm -hmm. save people. Like there was wild one story. Animals? There's one story where a girl in Ethiopia she was okay. kidnapped okay. and forced to be someone's bride. As they were kidnapping her, right. three lions came no. and chased out the kidnappers and stayed with the girl. Didn't eat her. What? Stayed with her until police came. And like there are cases of like uh, there was a pet pig no. that saved a kid in a half. God, why? But a pet yeah. pig saved a kid. There's also a, 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 a like uh, some dog that's that knows how to do CPR. Like it's crazy. Like, like roof, roof. You got like, she's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. and then like yeah. like the animals are like they're they're fiercely loyal. Yes. But, but in your case, you're talking about wild animals who have no idea what the people Well, I'm are. also talking about pets. The oh, and talking about pets. Pet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the yeah. dog was a pet. Yeah. It's also like a lot of reports. There's a cat that dialed 911. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. What? Dialed 911. Yo. What? Kid you not. And the operator you don't got believe me. I had to show you yeah, the article. Yeah, you had to show me. Because I'm like, no, nah, that can't be true. No, it's true. Cat dialed 911. Because the operator was on the other line. Yeah. Like, you can't fake that. No. Like, that's Look crazy. Look here. Meow. <laughs> like, whatever. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, no. A dog can't down number one because their paws are too big. Like, <clears throat> oh my god, I can see how the cat could have yeah. done that for sure. It could have just been like. Doo, doo, doo. Luckily, we didn't have like we didn't have like the old phones. That, oh my god! That, that, nah, that, they couldn't have done that. <laughs> but you know, it's a sad story. But like, it goes to show like obviously like how loyal the pets are to right. their owners and how like you know selfless they are. Right. Like you, like you said, uh, people. I mean, obviously, so with all of them, they just grab the kid and run out. But right. like, who would? Like, if that was your only option. Let's say, right? Let's say you can't get out. Right. Would you lay on top of someone else to? prevent them even though it's like your back is sizzling yeah. I mean you would you yeah I mean humans would in I some would cases, think that right? parents would parents would I would think that I've heard stories yeah. where the parent has protected the child from similar impacts I mean people people would definitely do that but at the same time it would be so it would be you feel the pain and you wouldn't be like to me this dog was just like it's almost like the the pain was nothing because they realized the life, the importance of the life, you know? Because it's just like... I just feel like humans are gifted with intelligence, mm -hmm. but also burdened by selfishness. Yep, Do you know what I'm definitely. saying? It's like a double-edged sword. I feel like... I don't know what animals think because we can't communicate with animals, but I feel like they are not complicated by no, those feelings. No. They just know the first instinct is right. to what, what they're going to do is what they're going to do. And I think, I don't think that makes their pain any less, but I feel like they don't have any mental pain. As yeah. in, they're, they're not choosing to do, they're like, I feel so much anguish because I could do it or I would not do it. Right. They would just do it. Right. And there's a, and this is definitely a tragic story. The, 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 the baby was just in there and the mom probably just stepped out for a second. Nobody knows why those fires started, yeah, they're, so they're still investigating. Still trying to figure out. And now there's a GoFundMe. It's raised $14,000 in three days. The dog is definitely a hero, and I'm hoping the girl uh, will make it out. It says that um, Viviana, the daughter, half her body was still burnt yeah. because the dog laid on laid on one half. Mm -hmm. 
So the other half, unfortunately, 20% of her body is still burned and she is in critical condition. And that's just like, and she's a, dude, she's an infant, like a baby, like, oh my gosh, it's not an adult. I really hope she makes it through. I really, really hope she makes it through. In Chinese, we have a saying, 大难不死,必有后福. If she makes it through, like, she's something special, you know? Oh my gosh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so is the dog in this case, you know? Well, you know, sad that the dog died, but, uh, you know, these type of stories, is just really, it's really fascinating and it's really touching. But let us know your thoughts on this. Thanks for watching, guys. Later. Bye.